Hello, I am Luis Nuño. I am a professor in the area of signal theory and communications at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. This is the second part of the example of a composition by using the harmonic wheel. In the first part, we define the structure of the piece, which is a binary form, and we compose the first eight bar phrase. In this second part, we will compose the rest of the A section and then the full B section. We can create a second phrase similar to the first one by making some variations. In the melodic aspect, it is possible to vary the motifs by introducing appoggiaturas, suspensions and other embellishing tones. For example, in this case, we introduce some appoggiaturas on bars 12, 14 and 16. With respect to the rhythmic pattern, we chose the rhythm 1. From now on, only the quotes will be shown, and not the full rhythmic pattern. Here we have the two first phrases. We can see the appoggiaturas here, here and here. And in the second phrase, we introduce some more chords, as we will explain later. Let's listen to these two phrases. As I explained, we introduced two different, two new chords, the F-sharp dominant seventh chord, which is the fifth or dominant of the second degree, which is B minor. This is indicated by 5-7 over 2. This means that provisionally we consider the B minor chord as a tonic chord of one degree, and just before it we included its corresponding dominant chord. The chord G sharp diminish is the nearest diminished chord to the A major key, as we will see. If we select the B minor uh, harmonic minor key on the harmonic wheel, we can check that its dominant seventh is F sharp, as we can see here. And if we go back to the A major key and we represent the G sharp diminished chord, it corresponds to a radial line and three of its four notes belong to this key. So this is the nearest diminished chord to A major. Next we are going to add 16 new bars to the previous ones in order to complete the first part of section A. To do that we can add two new eight bar phrases by repeating the melodic and harmonic st structure of the first 16 bars. We'll see that the harmonic structure will be exactly the same and we will change slightly the melody. Logically, the composition of our work can be as complex as desired. Here, this is a simple example. So here we can listen to the third and fourth phrases with rhythm one. Now we will compose the second part of the composition. So we, uh, we will add 32 new bars, but now in the key of F sharp minor, which is the relative of A minor. To change to a new key, it is necessary to introduce some chords which make the transition from the first key to the second one. This process is called modulation. As the new key is very affine to the first one, we can simply use the chords 1, 5, 1 in the new key. 
Regarding the melody, we will start with an eight-bar phrase using similar motifs to those in the first part. For example, this. Now, to harmonize this melody, we will use the harmonic wheel. We select, for example, the F sharp harmonic minor scale. The harmonic wheel gives us the seven basic chords in this scale, which are these seven chords. They are four note chords or seventh chords, but we can also use these chords without the seventh, that is, three note chords or triads. As previously indicated, we will start with the chords 1, 5, 1, which are F sharp minor, C sharp dominant 7, F sharp minor, to move to the new key. When harmonizing, let us remember that long notes in the melody must not be a half step above the con notes, except in the case of the dominant 7th chord or if we want to create strong dissonances. This is an example of a harmonization using the rhythm 2. Apart from the basic chords in this key, we introduce some new ones. They are A major, which is taken from F sharp natural minor scale, preceded by its dominant seventh, which is E dominant seventh. Take into account that in a minor mode, it is common practice to combine the natural, harmonic and melodic scales. We also introduce the chord G sharp dominant seventh, which is the dominant of C sharp dominant seventh, which is indicated by 5 seventh over 5. Dominant seventh chords of degrees other than 1 are called secondary dominants. Now we can add three new 8 bar phrases with identical melodic and harmonic structures to the previous one by just varying the motifs. This way we complete the second part of 32 bars. The only point to take into account is that the last phrase should end with a tonic chord and preferably preceded by its dominant seventh. In next two figures we can see the full second part obtained by following this procedure. So the first two phrases in this second part with rhythm two. And the last two phrases, where we can see that the, the tonic chord is introduced in the last bar to conclude the composition. Now we finish this simple composition. It is entitled Reflexiones, Reflections in English. It is a bolero which is included in CD Sueños, which means dreams. On the webpage harmonicwheel.com you may download the following files. The score with melody and chords, the score for piano with rhythms 1 and 2, and a score for guitar with rhythm 3. 
A performance of this piece can be seen on YouTube in channel Rueda Harmonica, which means harmonic wheel. This is the CD Sueños, which is played by international guitarist Tony Cotoli. You can find all the information on the web page harmonicwheel.com. Thank you very much for your attention.